Hello everybody, Stuart from Riku here. Today I want to showcase our new document dashboard. This is a place where you can organize and manage your documents, make projects, invite people to different projects, and use all of your prompts and other stuff like this. This is not currently live, but we expect to have it live by the end of the week. This is just a little run through to show you what we've built and to give you a taster before we push it live. One of the things that we often get asked within Riku is it's great being able to build up prompts, build up data sets, build up fine tunes and all of this, but we'd love to be able to use this in a document fashion. And this is another side of the product we've been working on and we're very excited to launch soon. If you're an existing Riku user, you will have beta access to this before anyone else. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We have a standard sort of homepage here where you can sort of get to grips with the dashboard. All of this is subject to change. Obviously, we haven't really uh, figured out the, the text and the different tasks that we're going to do here. So that's all going to change. We then have the ability to search prompts. This will be all the prompts within the community. Um, you'll be able to search them by name. You'll be able to choose the different technologies and pull up all of the prompts from different technologies. We have OpenAI, uh, DaVinci, if we want GPTJ, we do that. And we can pull up all of these interesting different prompts from different technologies. It's a super interesting, super cool, super easy way to find the prompts that you need quickly. We have another tab, which is your prompts, where you can see all of your prompts and see the prompts that you've favorited here. Again, you can search by technology and you can also add the name if you wanna do that for, for searching these out. Uh, the next tab is documents. So documents, you can see all of your documents here if you want to see all of the documents in a specific folder, you can hit folders and you could say top secret. It's going to show you the uh, documents within f top secret. If we go to uncategorized, it's going to show those. If we go to winning, it's going to show those. We can edit the document name. We can choose whether we want to publish it to the uh, web and we can change the folder if we want just by doing that and it's going to move it to a new folder. So that is super easy to do. We then have these specific tools and you're probably wondering why have we got these specific tools here? And it's really because they don't really fit into the category of working on a document. If you want to summarize text, you want to put in text and you want to get the summary out. You don't really want to put that into a larger document. So we figured putting it here would probably make sense. And here we're going to provide you with the best uh, summarizer APIs available through artificial intelligence. So uh, Aleph Alpha have a good summarizer, Neural Affinity have one, etc. So we're going to provide you with different ways for you to use content summarizers um, within your workflows. And if you build one yourself with the AI tools available in Riku, you will have the option to bring it here as well. We also have a rewrite here, so you can put in text and have it rewritten. And then we have a translate and we're using a translation AI model, um, which supports over a hundred languages. So that's going to be super, super fun to use. So that's sort of the basics of this uh, dashboard. We wanted to keep it super simple and super, super easy to use. We then have the different project views. So if you wanna create a new project, it's very easy to do that. If you want to switch between different projects, you simply click and you can do that. And everyone comes with a personal project and then you can create projects that you can use within different teams. So if we want to see all of our projects, we can do that. And you'll see that we have you know, the personal one, we have the launch and we have the one which is currently active here. For the personal, you can't delete it because it's you know personal to your account. For the others, you can rename and you can delete them as you wish. One of the really strong things that I think we are bringing to this uh, new dashboard is the ability to collaborate. So you'll see here we have a team view and anyone who is on your team within Riku, you can invite them to individual projects. And if they're invited to an individual project, 
they'll be able to uh, help you with creating documents, creating folders, and managing the different uh, areas of that project and the documents that are involved within it. We're going to add different uh, permissions roles that can be used here. For example, you can see I am uh, admin here. And if I want to add someone, I can just add, invite them to the team. And they are the contributor. And then they can also access this uh, document, this, this project and all of the uh, things within it. So... That's the basics of uh, this new dashboard. If you want to run uh, prompts within this dashboard, you can also do so. So if I take uh, a prompt, let's go for this business icebreaker one here. Uh, actually, we didn't hook that up yet. So <laughs> we will uh, take one from here. So we wanted to do this festive poems that was a good recovery we take one of these festive poems you'll see that it loads up specific information about it you know we are introducing a star rating so we'll be able to put the highly ranked prompts at the top and you'll be able to search and filter those as you like you can see the information about the prompt you can see the the name the description the uh, the image and you'll then be able to choose how many outputs you want for this. And you'll notice we have this output box on the side and we're gonna be showing you the last tw the last 20 outputs from uh, your, your account. So if we were to do a festive poem and we just put uh, the joy of giving presents, um, we can choose how many outputs. We've upped this to five now, so you can choose whether you want to have, you know, one, two, three, four, or five. Let's choose three. And we can hit generate. And what you're going to see is when this actually generates, they are going to appear at the top here. So if you're here just to generate content quickly and you just want to try out the different prompts, you can do it from this view. But then we have the document view as well, which is super fun. And I can't wait to share some more thoughts on that. So this is pretty much where we are with this now we're looking to launch this for bd users by the end of this week both the text dashboard and the document view um and you'll be able to do a lot of a uh, lot of things with it for your document creation needs for your for your editing needs uh, and i think that the interface is a lot cleaner and we're looking to replicate this interface now onto the building side of things because you know this marks a bit of a, a departure from our initial goals within Riku, which was, you know, development, helping people build up prompts, helping people build up fine tunings, help, helping people build up data sets. And that's, that's very important to us and very important as our goal going forward. And especially like the share links and the white labeling and, and that sort of thing. But for those who just want to generate content, you use the best prompts from the community, use the best prompts that they created themselves and they want a super handy place to do it then by using something like this and being able to um, create documents. And if we come back to the personal, we'll see all of these documents that we've created there and keep it all organized and managed. This is going to be a game changer and we're very, very excited to share this with you all. So this is a quick sneak peek, quick first look. If you have any feedback have any suggestions on it then do let us know of course like i've said a lot of the uh things on hooking this up still need to be done uh there's a lot of uh subject to change warning on this so you know there's there's a lot of a lot of work still to go but we're confident that we're going to have this finished within the next day or two and then we will allow current uh Ricky users to to beta test it and see how you like it see what we can improve further and you know feedback is super important so do let us know you know we want Ricky to be the place where you can build deploy enjoy write and make the use out of all of this different content generation needs and i think this is a a way to make those who don't want to develop uh use the uh use the tools and get the content out that they want um, without having to do that. But, you know, we're still looking to 
help developers make the most of the tool as well. So that's all for today. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to join Riku, then sign up today at riku.ai. We have all of the best large language models under a single roof and make it super easy to experiment, to build, to deploy, and enjoy all of the best things with AI. Thank you.